I'm not working tomorrow. It's 3.26 in the morning. And I'm kind of tired. I've just finished setting up my trading room today and doing my homework for this week. And it's going to be an interesting week. There's a lot going to happen. A lot of the currencies are at important pivot points and trend lines. And so is gold and, and crude, for example. This is the year to the Japanese yen. This is the last two months. It's at a resistance point here. It might go above it or it might turn and come down. Um, you can see it's just coming up to the resistance level there. Then we got the euro to the US dollar. Uh, that's been going sideways for the last two months. Resistance again. And we're right at the resistance level today. Uh, it's been channeling back and forth really nicely. And who knows, is it going to be like a short position or a long position? Then, oh uh, gosh, the S&P 500, you know, it's had a real run in the last month. And it's the first time on the trend line. One, two, three, four, five times. It's just broken the trend line tonight. And we're back to the year high, like 11.51. Um, you can see today it's just broken below the trend line, five points. Mm, I don't know if that's going to be a short tomorrow's profit taking, who knows. Uh, the euro, to pound to the euro, well that's just going down, any excuse to short that, but it's kind of flat right now. Uh, gold's interesting, oh I screwed up on gold last week, if we uh, were to start with gold, this is the trend line since August, touching it one, two, three, four, five times, and stupid me, I bought it on the third contact to the trend line right here, and it didn't hold, you can see this is the that little micro trend because the markets are fractal, they're structure and structure. So that's the second if one, two, third contact to the trend line didn't hold, and it's coming back down right here to this year-long trend line, and it should hold. So I might I got an alarm set to buy that middle of the night. So you can see uh if I get my pen. I went long right here. You can see it's coming down to the trend line, and it should bounce off that and go back up. That's gold. Uh, pound the US dollar. I got seven screens. Now, um, pound the US dollar is finding support this morning right here. It's made of like a reverse head and shoulders. It's come down a lot in the last few months. It's touched support. It's up. It's not quite down coming to it, but it might. Second time here, I might break it and run back up. So who knows? And then crude, oh goodness, we'll start with the crude oil. Uh, this is the month long trend line. It's touched like eight times, so like seven times. One, two, three, four, five, almost six, seven. But it's just broken the trend line uh, yesterday and it's going sideways right now. Here's the start of the 15th. We're at like 80, 85. And it's just finding support here, touching it four times. I'm kind of looking for an excuse to buy it, uh, waiting for stochastics to break out. But because it's below the trend line, I'm not sure if I want to buy it right now. There could be some profit taking because the economy doesn't like it when oil gets above $80. Uh, so I got a little reminder there which way it's going, but who knows. So I'm waiting for some good trends to develop and buy into them. So everything is trending and hitting really important uh, trend lines or resistance levels. And there's lots of economic news this week, so I'm trading. 18 hours a day. Um, I'm listening to the drum and bass right now. It's awful. It's on BBC Radio 1, Essential Mix. Got a few coffee. My studies are going well. So, patience and discipline. And I'm trading down to 1%. Positions, I'm down. 6.5% overall because of this mistake on gold. I was down 2% when I went long. I was going to risk 2%, but then I widened my stop to 3.5% to account for some volatility. I didn't have a guaranteed stop, and it, it just ran through it quickly, and I lost 4.75%. So this is uh, it's just a really stupid mistake for a lot of stupid reasons, which I'm not going to do. But my analysis is pretty good, and I've taken the emotions out of it. I don't really care anymore. It's only 1%. So it's going to be a good four days. This is the most difficult thing you can do. Because you got to not care when you do well, and you got to not care when you do bad, 
you got to live in the moment. Um, and you only write six out of ten times, but then you got to like keep your good positions open and maybe add to them if you if you got the balls to. So oil's still flat. Oh, look at that nice interference pattern. Wow. Different frequency on that screen.